Hi guys! So for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my driving test experience. Now, you may be noticing from the thumbnail I'm in a different outfit. I had filmed this whole video and then my files deleted once I'd edited and exported the video so I no longer have my files or the finished video so I'm having to refilm it today but don't worry these things happen. <laughs> um, so basically I'm just going to start from the beginning, chat to you guys about what happened and why I failed each one because from the side who you have probably seen it took me five attempts at my driving test to pass and some of them down to my own fault and some of them down to well I don't really understand the other faults but we're just going to go through them today and chat to, you, chat to you about it. So driving test number one was at the start of December 2017. This is about two weeks before Christmas and I did all my driving tests in Lincoln. Um, test centre. So test number one came round and um, was feeling quite confident, feeling quite positive. I'd had quite a lot of lessons by this point. I'd been driving a lot with my dad to like gain confidence and just get more experience. So I've been doing that since August and I'd been feeling pretty confident about my test. I was like you know what, I think I can do it. So I went down in my instructor's car, had the hour before, and it was all fine. And then on this test, we went in one of the test routes in Lincoln, which is quite like back roads, quite windy. They're all national speed limits, so 60 roads. And they're all quite windy and bendy. And yeah, they just wasn't very nice roads to drive on and they were all quite narrow as well. So yeah, I'd had quite a lot of experience on these roads because I live in a village myself. Obviously not quite like that but still knew how to react with it. And we got through the national speed limit bit and then we got to where it was the village and in this village obviously it goes to 30 but these roads are still really narrow, still really windy and Basically, there was a 4x4 vehicle coming towards me on my side of the road and obviously it was my right of way because the obstruction of parked cars was on their side of the road so really they should have stopped um, and let me go through but they didn't and when I came onto that side of the road there was nowhere for me to go because there's parked vehicles a bit further down on my side so I couldn't necessarily get through So and there was a car behind me, there was a car in front of me and like they'd stopped and there was just nowhere for me to go and this vehicle still couldn't get through and my instinct was to go up the curb because I was like they can't get through we're gonna hit cars and I'm gonna bash my instructor's car on my lesson on my test and like I'm gonna die so um yeah I panicked a little bit and mounted the curb so that was fail number one which I can understand because it was a valid reason to fail but I got nine minors on that test and my manoeuvre was the pull up on the right and reverse for two car lengths then rejoin traffic and I did my manoeuvre fine, I didn't get any minors for my manoeuvre I got both of my show me tell me questions correct um, so yeah I didn't get minor for those so then rolls on test number two, this one was in January I was feeling positive again because I was like right it's a new year I can do this like I only failed on something stupid last time that like, I can do it. So test number two, I got a Greek examiner who is known in Lincoln Test Centre to be quite a harsh marker and if you pass with him, well you, you passed, like you've done a good pass. So anyway, that rolls around, did test number two, I got the pull up on the right again and basically on this test we went towards Newark and then there's a little flyover over the bypass and can then rejoin the traffic and the bypass on the other side. So we was getting off the roundabout to go onto this Newark bypass and there was, a t it's a two lane roundabout so there's the left hand lane which goes left and straight on and then the right hand lane to either like go right round the roundabout but you could technically go straight on because at this roundabout if I'm looking at it so the straight on is literally just a field there's nothing there so the straight on technically is right round the roundabout so I indicate to go right and I went in the right hand lane and then when I came off this roundabout I was in the fast lane of the 
bypass because I'd gone at it from the right instead of the left and it meant that I then needed to indicate to get back in because I obviously wasn't overtaking the cars um, and I didn't want to lane hog and etc so I needed to indicate left to go back into the left hand lane of this motorway uh, of this bypass when I checked and indicated there was nothing coming and then this lorry shot past me because it came from like straight on um, in the left hand lane and so I was indicating and I was like going into that lane and then this lorry appeared so obviously I had to then go back into this lane but I didn't signal coming back into this lane and yeah it was a big mess um, that was not a good test that one to be honest did knock my confidence quite a lot and by number three I hadn't told anybody when my test was because after the first two everyone was like to me oh you're gonna pass this next one like you can do it like you're gonna pass and because I had failed two so obviously by test number three I was feeling quite fed up I was like feeling quite knocked confidence wise and I thought like oh I can't do it so anyway test number three comes around this one was in February it was exactly like 12 days after my other one I think test number three I got a guy who is quite known for harsh marking and to be honest he just wasn't very chatty compared to like the other two that I'd had so I got in this car everything was going well we did we came up to my end of town which I felt really confident um, because I knew the roads I knew the turnings I knew the speed limits that sort of thing and so we we completed the whole test everything was fine I got six minus for the whole test and then we got back to the test centre and my manoeuvre was a reverse bay park now if you know me you'll know that my parking skills are not excellent and I hate parking um, especially bay parks and I'd been practicing these with my instructor and it did take me quite a while because I I wasn't able to get it in very quickly and I was I was like misjudging the gap and the line and stuff so I picked the bay which had a curb next to it because I was like right I won't lose the line I've got something to aim for and when I uh, did my full lock to the left I my car then went too wide because I did it too quickly so my car then grazed the white line of the next bay so I went forwards and came back straight and I was in the bay and he failed me for it saying that I grazed the white line and I was too slow doing it so that one I was really annoyed about I did actually put in a complaint because my instructor and three other instructors were stood at the door like thumbs up like they all watched me do it and they said that was not a fail that shouldn't have been a fail so then rolls around test number four now test number four didn't go to plan um, <laughs> So we was driving through town down Triton Road which is away into the town centre and then there's the university roundabout which is a very confusing roundabout but we got to the junction where if you live in Lincoln you'll know this for reference where the Nosy Parker and where you can go to like the range is and there's three lane junctions so there's left hand and straight on as the left lane the middle lane was straight on and the right hand lane was right only and the lights had just turned to green and like there was no one in front of me so I went in the middle lane because the two cars in the left hand lane were indicating to go left and the lights were on green so I was like well I can go so I went but I should have been in that left hand lane because then it meant that two cars undertook me which is where they overtake you but on the inside lane as opposed to the outside lane which is may I add illegal so not happy about that fail and I was doing 40 which was the speed limit so they must have been doing well above so I didn't really understand why I failed that because sorry but who sits behind a learner driver like nobody does and yeah so I failed that one got back to the test centre my manoeuvre was a reverse bay park again and I got my bay park in in one now can we just get a little round of applause because I don't think that will ever happen again in my life I couldn't believe it I was like literally sat there like oh my god I've done it <laughs> and the guy was like do you want your instructor here for your results and I said yeah because you know I was feeling quite positive like I did that bay part well and um yeah my instructor came over and he was like well I'm sorry to say that you failed because of your uh, you was in the wrong lane at the junction so at that one again I was very frustrated and I actually had to go to work straight after so I was like sat in my instructor's car bawling my eyes out because I was just so frustrated at this point I was like I'm doing all these tests, I'm doing all these lessons and I just keep failing. So then I had 12 days, because you have to have 12 days to retake your tests. I actually had 
quite a big gap because there wasn't any test dates like nearer so I actually booked my next one on a Sunday which was Sunday late today I think it was the 4th of March yeah Sunday the 4th of March 2018 was supposed to be my fifth test but it got cancelled because of the snow now they did not let us know that this got cancelled so me and my dad my dad's car down because I, I was doing it in my dad's car this last time because I had run out of so much money by doing these tests and I just had no money left to do it in my instructor's car so I did it in my dad's car I got like obviously L plates and the mirror the interior mirror for the examiner so I was doing it in my car we went down there and yeah the roads were fine did a few test routes and the roads were clear so then we got to the test center because I was doing an 810 test so wait no I wasn't I was doing a 907 test so we got to the test center about half past eight just to check that the test was on and there was no one there so I was like well maybe they aren't doing the 810 test so we went round did a bit more driving came back about 10 to 9 and the gates were bolted up there was no one there there was no one answering the ants machine so by about 20 past 9 we then went home and we wrote an email and rang the test centre complaining. I managed to get a 3 day short test so I got a test on Thursday the 8th of March and I did it in my dad's car and I passed with 6 minors I think. I think, I'm not too sure, my sheet's somewhere. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah I passed this one so we did the same test route as the one that I did the first time and I actually had the same examiner that failed me on my Bay Park so I was a bit like nervous that like, oh he's a harsh marker so I wasn't that keen on him straight away but he passed me so it was alright you know <laughs> and there was only one point on the test where I thought I'd failed and that was purely because he asked me to go right and I went left I don't know why I also thought I could have failed because I went through loads of potholes because I couldn't avoid them and there was rain it was quite heavily raining and the rain had like collected in these potholes so I couldn't always see them. I thought I'd failed on that again so I made a little joke and I was like oh there's a lot of potholes on this road isn't there? Like just trying to lighten up the situation. And then we got near near to the test centre and he was like right can you pull up behind this red car? I did and then he was like I want you to go parallel to that car and do a reverse parallel park around it leaving at least within two car lengths that was what he said so I did it and I'd done one that morning so I already knew what I was doing and so I did it but I was a little bit wired to the curb and he looked at it and he was like are you happy with that I was like yeah can I square it up if I go forwards and he was like that's for you to make that decision like really mardy with me so I went forward squared it up I was closer to the curb and then I put my handbrake on went to neutral and he was like, right, if you want to reverse to give yourself enough room to pull away and then do so when it's safe. So I did that and then we went into the test centre and he was like sat for ages like with his pen, like just jotting things down on his sheet. And he was like, well, you've passed. I was like, what? Are you joking? Or I uh, at least sound a little bit happy for me, you know? And uh, yeah, so I passed this one with six minors and I'm so happy to finally be able to drive my car that's been sat on my drive, well, sat in my garage for the past five months <laughs> so I'm quite happy um, but yeah what I wanted to do I wanted to make this video because all the ones that I watched of these before I did my test they were of people that had passed on like the first or second go where I passed on my th fifth go and I know I really liked watching these before each test see other people's experiences and like what they failed on and yeah I just wanted to make this video to say that if you are on your third, fourth, fifth, sixth whatever test number you are on you can do it if I can do it you can do it and honestly don't let anybody tell you that you're a bad driver and you'll never be able to drive because trust me you will and the day that you get that blue certificate saying that you've passed will be the happiest and proudest day of your life I could have cried I was that happy Um, I think I did cry when I got home I was just so happy and when you get to go out in your car for the first time by yourself like it is just the best feeling. I just wanted to make this video to help you guys out there. I'm also going to leave some channels down below of driving instructor YouTube channels which I found really really helpful to watch. They had some great tips especially on bay parking, parallel parking, all them sort of things. They really helped me and I think they'll help you guys. 
but I have been learning since August and I honestly do think that the main thing that got me through my test was has made me the confident driver that I am now. The fact that I went out with my dad in his car with L plates on and it just built up my confidence and it meant that I didn't have to pay for loads and loads of lessons just driving around doing things that I could already do. So I definitely recommend that if you've got a parent or a guardian that could do that for you guys. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll make sure to reply back to you. Or if you ever want to have a chat to me about anything, my inboxes are always open on my social medias, which are always linked down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And click the subscribe button down below if you are new to my channel. It would honestly mean the world to me. And yeah, this week on my channel, we are doing a video every day for seven days. So keep tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!